I'm here in the park with this beautiful olive tree. Let's see if we can get some leaves in here. Here they are. Here's, here's the olive tree. They grow they grow really well here in Vegas. And we got some olives on the ground. I mean, they grow really well in Vegas as long as they're watered. <laughs> in fact, this part of the park has three right next to each other. Here's another one. This is a great sitting, sitting tree. It's got a nice big Y in it. Wow. Awesome. And interesting about the olives is uh, if you were to make an extract, like a tincture or a tea, from the leaves, they are really well known for cardiovascular health. Um, they're really good at improving circulation, so if you have any parts of your body that are rather stagnant, olive leaf is a great addition to one's regimen. If you're suffering from any kind of a chronic illness, Olive leaf is fantastic to bring in as well because it has a lot of pathogen killing properties, viruses, bacteria. I don't know off the top of my head if it's especially known for killing fungus, but definitely. Here's another one. This one's a little smaller. Definitely got some really beautiful medicinal properties. And uh, a few of the master planned communities here in the valley have a lot of olive trees. And I've heard from my folks that they really didn't like the olive trees because I don't know where they got it from. But they were saying that the olive trees kick out a lot of pollen and that it really bothers them and their allergies. And I was just sitting there baffled, a little baffled. Like, why are you allergic to such a ancient healing and medicinal plant? This plant that we have cultivated for so many millennia, I'm guessing millennia, but for so many generations. My favorite myth, my favorite myth about the olive tree would be about the goddess Athena. And well, I'm having a, a fun time doing my best to remember the details of this myth, but I, I'm pretty sure it had something to do with she was in a competition with, uh, well, if I'm using the name Athena, I guess the Greek name would be Ares, since they're both considered deities of war, although she is more of a strategic type of war, and he's more of just war. Anyway, I'm pretty sure as part of that myth, she planted the first olive seed, which grew into a tree. And uh, that's why the Greeks and the Romans are just so intertwined with the olive and they use it in so much of their cuisine. It's really fantastic. 
And I think the leaves can often be overlooked for the fruit and for the oil. And I, I'm pretty sure I've seen a couple times the wood of the olive tree. And it's quite beautiful. I, I haven't seen it, in a, I haven't looked at it in a long time. So I, I don't even recall at this moment what it looks like. But some of those, those bigger trees that I was just petting, you know, if they got to that point, they certainly would yield some good lumber. So I was, I was thinking to myself how curious it was that, how curious it was that such a wonderful, loving, and giving tree could be causing allergies with my folks. And I do not doubt their suffering. So I took it upon myself to start consuming olive leaf supplements, tinctures. And Ranger. And to my glee, my own allergies, which were far more mild than my parents, my own allergies actually began to subside. And so it got me to thinking, what is going on here? Well, probably I had some uh, some buildup of some toxins and some potentially pathogens, definitely. A little of both. Why, why not? We live in a very dense environment, even here in Las Vegas, in terms of indiscriminate pollution. And so, I'm sure that taking, deliberately taking in the olive leaf supplements helped to increase my blood flow and circulation, helped to kill off any pathogens, and helped to flush, flush those things out, those undesirables. And it, it lessened my allergies to the point where, and you know, there's times... There are times when my eyes will burn, but uh, you, you never know what they're spraying in, in these skies. So it's, it's hard to say, or what they're spraying on the plants themselves. As many olive trees as there are growing around in the neighborhoods, I will not harvest from them because I've seen them. I've seen the trucks. They just roll down the street. They don't even get out of their cars. They just take the big spraying wand and they stick it right out the window and they just spray the whole area. So I'm not going to collect what nature so freely wants to give me. And so I'm wondering about these allergies that my folks are continuing to, to suffer from. And it seems to me like the olive tree is kicking out its pollen and its goodies. And it says, if you just take me in. Oops. Hey, Ranger. Wait, Ranger. It's my buddy. If you just take me in. I will help to flush you out. I will help to clean you. I will help you to breathe. Not just through your nose, but your cells. I will increase your circulation so that every nook and cranny can breathe. And so, my folks who just eat whatever they want based on how they've been raised and however they feel on an emotional level, I 
there's backlog and these olive trees are doing their best to help my parents to flush these things out and it's a great uphill battle for the tiny amounts that they take in from breathing in the pollen. See the dog? And so it just goes to show me how important noticing things like allergies are because there's there's two sides to every allergy or or physical reaction you could say cuz allergy is just a name right like you wouldn't say that you have an allergy to bleach bleach is bad <laughs> I mean, maybe you could, if it's like an overreaction. But I wouldn't say that. So if you're having a negative physical reaction to something, it's either one of two things. Either it's something like bleach, which is really bad, and you need to get that stuff away from you. I mean, bleach is what? Chlorine? chloride what's that the leftovers from world war one's mustard gas why in the world would watering it down be a good idea to still breathe that stuff in when cleaning my house my mom's like when i smell bleach i think of clean and i'm like when i smell bleach i think of death good lord there's always a fine, fine, fine balance. Yeah, okay, you take a tiny amount of bleach and super water it down, and you can spray it on your lawn and it'll help kill certain... It, it, apparently it seems to do pretty well for the grass if you take a very small amount and with very long intervals between, it helps the grass. But it's an indiscriminate killer. And that's my, that's my problem with it. Whereas olive leaf is a very intelligent plant and it knows exactly what it's doing. The question would be, do you?